plasma exchange is a proven treatment in multiple sclerosis relapses that do not get better with steroids. We'll talk about how it works, the side effects, and the evidence behind it. Let's have some fun. Plasmapheresis, or plasma exchange, is usually reserved for the treatment of severe multiple sclerosis attacks that don't get better with steroids. It requires a procedure to gain access to the larger veins, and there are some potential side effects. And so it is used judiciously, but relatively frequently. I want to start with a case. This is a 37-year-old woman who was previously healthy, but developed severe left optic neuritis with severe vision loss in the left eye, followed shortly by severe transverse myelitis, inflammation of the spinal cord, and she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. When we first saw her, she had only light perception in the left eye, in other words, legally blind in the left eye, and she had no movement in the right leg and only minimal movement in the left leg. She was given solumedrol, high-dose steroids, methylprednisolone, one gram IV daily for five days, but she improved only slightly and was unable to walk. This was followed by plasmapheresis, 55 mils per kilogram daily for five days, and she began improving dramatically. And after four months, her vision didn't get much better. She only had finger counting vision. However, her strength completely improved to normal and she was walking normally and she's done well ever since. So what is plasmapheresis? Well, a little bit about the immunology of multiple sclerosis. It turns out that the abnormal inflammation of MS starts in the periphery and abnormal cells and immunoglobins enter the central nervous system through the blood brain barrier and cause inflammation. And there are many soluble factors dissolved in the blood. And that's exactly how plasmapheresis works, to remove those pro-inflammatory factors. What it does is it removes serum antibodies, in other words, antibodies from the blood, and other factors such as complement, and ameliorates antibody-mediated neurological disease. And there's evidence for its efficacy in many neurological diseases. This is what the setup looks like. Essentially, blood is taken for, from you, goes through a machine where the plasma, the fluid around the red and white blood cells is removed, and then you're given back the cells with a replacement fluid, usually albumin or fresh frozen, frozen plasma. Now, this is a very old machine and they don't look like this anymore, but this was the best example I could find. So what is removed by plasmapheresis? Well, the immunoglobins, the cytokines, and complement factors, also, these are all proteins involved in inflammation in neurological diseases, but also good things like clotting factors, albumin, which is a major protein in the blood, certain electrolytes, and drugs as well. And because of that, there are certain side effects. It can cause paresthesias, tingling of the skin, muscle cramps, electrolyte changes, especially low calcium, and we generally give calcium chloride during the treatment. It can also cause low blood pressure, hypotension, due to fluid shifts. And it also can cause a tendency towards bleeding, a hypocoagulable state. And it can cause slight weakening of the immune system because it's taking out components of your immune system. Though these are relatively transient side effects. Now, what about the evidence? In one study, this was a sham controlled randomized double blind study. In other words, they took patients Half of them got the real plasmapheresis, and the other half were hooked up to a machine that the machine did absolutely nothing. But they didn't know whether they were getting the sham or the real treatment. And this was done in people with multiple sclerosis relapses, and they looked at how quickly they improved. And the median time to recover pre-attack disability was four weeks in the treatment group versus 13 weeks. However, it was only effective in acute relapse. It was, it was not effective in chronic progressive multi, multiple sclerosis. In another sham controlled randomized trial of 22 patients with severe attacks who did not get better with steroids, 42.1% improved after plasmapheresis versus only 5.9% in the control group. And this was statistically significant, although interestingly, they used two examiners and it only worked out to be statistically significant for one of the two examiners. They did a secondary analysis to look at other things, and there was a trend towards improvement in EDSS, a marker of disability in MS. And there was also a statistically significant improvement in mean power score relative to the placebo. 
So hopefully that gives you a brief overview of plasma exchange or plasma phoresis. Please subscribe for videos about MS every Wednesday. And if you have any questions, post in the comments below.